We're just down here in O'Brien's down in Crookstown scanning a bunch of 25 heifers. So we're on the last one. Uh, the raw eyed started, Kitty, the... It started the 28th of April. Yeah, uh, and they all got one round of AI, so... Yeah. So far, they've all kept to AI, bar one, so, which is fantastic results. So they're an ideal time for scanning now. They're, the longest is, is 106 days, so just a lovely time for scanning. Um, and the reason is that you can, the pregnancy is still up in the pelvis. You can, uh, you can measure it ac accurately and get a, get a nice uh, accurate age. We're also using the farm ops app yeah. kitty, so all the all the servers were put in through farm ops. All the servers were put in through farm ops. Yeah, and the beauty, of, yeah, yeah, the beauty of it is that um, when you put in the, you can find the animal very quickly yeah. there. We'll scan this one, sure. Um, she was AI'd as well. This one, was she? She was. Yeah. She was AI'd 96 days ago. 96 days ago. So the beauty is that if any serves that are in there, either through the technician or put them in yourself through the app or through ICBF, they're going to be on the, they're going to show up there. And crucially as well, then how many days ago? So how many days ago did you say? 96 days ago. 96 days ago. So she's held to that serve as well, 96 days. Uh, and a heifer calf, so a nice way, to, nice way to finish up. And if she hadn't held to the serve, we could just um, put in the number of days that she was in calf. If she was empty, you can record that. If the bull was still running and we weren't sure, you can record recheck, you can record twins, well. twins as well, yeah, and the sex, um, and all the information goes up onto, up onto the system and up onto ICBF, so it makes the job easy for the person doing the scanning because the information is there right alongside the crush, and hopefully you get a nice accurate result as well then yeah. um, that, you're, that you can match up the, the pregnancies to the serves.